Okay, so I've had a few people ask, how do we remotely start the generator? Okay, so this is a diesel generator. It has glow plugs. And crank start. So we take, uh, this is the Schneider Connext uh, AGS, which is automatic gen start. We take and put relays and stuff on the inside. And I'll show you that. It fuses. I'm trying to open this with my hand. Come on, baby. So there you go. So we take and put relays in there so that the actual actual AGS does not do the switching. The AGS is running the control circuit, which runs the coils. This then drives the power through. So we put fuses in it to also. Uh, I opened a couple of fuses so you can see them there. Out of the AGS, and I don't know, is there 26 or 23 wires? There's a pile of them. Okay, so those wires, we correspond the correct ones to their relays the way they go. Now, depending on your model or the equipment that you're using, if it's a propane generator or it's a diesel or a gasoline generator, you may not need all those relays. And then the AGS, sorry, I'm not a real good camera guy, the AGS does talk through to the Schneider Connext system, all right? So we go to the Connext, or to the system control panel, bring it in closer here, go enter, scroll down, so we're looking for the AGS. There's the AGS. The AGS is there, it's an automatic, and on and on. Now, advanced settings, you can configure you know, your different generator type. This is a type 14. There's many types, whether which relays you're going to use, what timings you're going to use. Okay, so let's just have a little, oh. Uh, configure trigger. Configure trigger will be the voltages that we set for the type of batteries that we're using, okay? And then it'll also, at what voltages the generator will shut off and uh, different things. It should be SOC in here also, yes. SOC enabled, so it'll start at 70%, it'll charge it up to 90%, and then the generator will shut off. There's many settings in there. Configure gen, configure generator. You can take and set it, you know, how long the, uh, how long the starter stays on or glow plugs and different things. Let's kind of go down and have a look real quick here. Relay 3, not used. So yeah, so this one has glow plugs, but it has its own timing uh, sequence. So it's a two-wire start to that generator. I thought it was glow plugs also, but it's not. All right, there's a quick overview of what a AGS in a Schneider Connex system looks like.